Setting up the rink is a very simple process. It can be set up directly on the floor, on our custom made stage or an existing stage. First step is to set up a wooden border, then a foam matting is rolled out to act as an insulator. This is followed by a plastic membrane being put in place to act as a waterproof tray. Next, the coils, which come in sections, are dropped into place. At this point, the refrigeration mechanics take over connecting the coils to the header pipes, located at one end of what will be the eye surface. Flexible hosing runs from header pipes to the compressor, which can be located up to 10 metres away from the eye surface. Three-phase power is required to run the compressor with a 32 amp D-class circuit. The compressor weighs 780 kilos. The gas refrigerant is R404A, which is environmentally friendly. With the coils connected to the compressor, the waterproof tray is filled with water to cover the coils. The compressor is then switched on. The eye surface takes about four hours to set up and nine to 13 hours to freeze from water depending on the atmospheric conditions. The ice rink comes in two sizes, seven meters square or 10 meters by 4.8 meters. Resurfacing the ice surface is simple. It can be done using a watering can or by a mini ice resurfacer. Pull down. The compressor remains on while a team of guys break up the ice into ice chips using sledgehammers. The ice chips are then shoveled into buckets and carted away to the nearest drain. Once the ice chips have been removed, the coils are disconnected from the compressor and lifted out of the tray. The remainder of the ice chips, snow and water are funnelled into a bucket before the plastic membrane is folded, the foam insulation rolled up and the wooden board is dismantled. The pack-up process takes a team of six guys about four and a half hours from start to finish.